Hello, it's Sarah, and it's time to do the August art journal page. I'm behind, so we're going to get this out of the way, then I got to do a September too, and then we're going to get into October. I had a busy summer, guys. What can I tell you? Anywho, um, I'm going to do a sandcastle. I spent a lot of time at the beach this summer, which is not I mean, I went to the beach more this summer than I've gone for the last five summers. So um, I thought that would be appropriate for August. So all I've done so far is cut a 12 by 9 sheet of watercolor paper in half. So it's 6 by 9. And I gave it a coat of gesso. So I basically, I just put a little gesso on the surface and used my brayer and just coated the surface and I like that because now it's got some tooth and it's got a little bit of a mixed media feel to it. I'm going to apply my background color and I picked some sandy colors. I have buttermilk and AC flesh. I have a little bit of a darker but I don't know I really wanted to keep it light this is just called dark flesh. I only have flesh tones out here. Anywho, pick some colors that that will replicate or you know sand. And let's see, like I have honey brown, but I think that's a little too dark. So I'm going to use yeah, this is honey brown. So maybe for um, I have driftwood. Nope, that's gray. All right, let's just start with buttermilk first. It's really not even going to show up. I think I'll just go right to AC Flesh. Honey Brown, and then I have some gold. Uh, I'm going to just put this right out on my craft mat and use my brayer. This is um, the Ranger brayer, I believe. I have one. Uh, what is the name of that other brand? I have a bigger one that I've never even used, but this one does the trick and I'm gonna go both ways that's kinda looking good I like the way that's looking cuz it looks I don't know like sandy already and it's just the paints gonna stick wherever it sticks like for whatever reason the, the paper might have been bowed in that area so it's like and I'm pushing harder now so that I can kinda get it to It's a background, so you don't, this isn't really an, uh, a work of art right now, right? And then I'm going to put, um, I really, really love that. I love the white coming through as well, but let's put a little honey brown and just see what it looks like. The beaches where I live are very, very white. They're white sand, but I do like, let's see, this might be too much. I'm just going to put a little bit. And I think I'll go back with buttermilk on top of this. That looks really sandy. I'm loving, loving it so much. All right. I'm going to go back with a little bit of that buttermilk. So the lightest color now. I mean, I may even put white because I am going to put my, I'm going to put some sky and some ocean, a little bit of ocean, and then the sand's going to be down here. But this will shine through the blue, and it'll, see, look, I kind of, I don't remember when I did this ATC. Maybe I did, I didn't do it. I don't know. I'm just going to play it by ear and see what happens. But I'm going to go in now with the buttermilk. And these are just acrylic paints, craft paints, that you can get at the craft stores. Um, I was a decorative painter for years and I have a lot of these so that's why I use them but if you, you can use what you have it can be um, heavy body uh, light body I don't know whatever kind of paint you have Um, in love with this. All right, so now I'm going to do a little stenciling and stamping in the background. Um, 
I think maybe I'll separate my sections sometimes I need to think because I haven't done this in advance it's it's kind of as it comes but look how pretty I love that so simple um, I have my little box of mark making tools so I'm going to grab that and maybe I will do some stamping I can I think I'm going to use paint I'm, gonna, I'm just pulling from what I have here I always I generally have my go-to's that I use all the time um, but I'm thinking about beachy things is there something no, I, I think I'm just going to use my go-tos. Like I have flowers and leaves, and but I love music. The music notes might be a good one. Because my brother definitely, we always had his, he has his music. And he has such cool taste in music, like a lot of oldies. But most of the people on the beach, you know, it could be annoying if someone doesn't like your music. But everyone loved his music, and they'd be like, oh my gosh. Thanks for the music. So that was nice. So I definitely want to put some music on here. I even have a big music notes. So I'm just looking through and seeing what I have because I have this big, big one. But I think I'll be okay with... Um, I even have... You know what I have is... I'll use music note paper too for like the sun or the clouds. That would be a good way to go. Ooh, I have this. It's like a doily. That kind of seems summery to me. I don't know. I'm just looking for stuff that kind of is saying summer to me. Like I probably wouldn't use this autumn leaf, right? Um, and you guys, it's about what you have, using what you have, and having fun. That's what art journaling is to me. That's what I've decided it's got to be because I, I don't want to do it if it's not fun. This is a beehive. I haven't, I haven't used it. All right, let me do... Um, I don't think I have a brown ink pad. Oh, yes, I do. I have a brown stays on ink pad. I think I'm going to use that. But I'm also going to use some paint. And to, to stamp... With paint, you just make a little palette, basically. So I really like this, too. This is a, a hand-carved stamp that I s carved myself. Um, I kind of like the swirls better. But you know what? It's sand. I'm going to stick with dots. I wish I had a like much smaller dots thing. I probably have a stencil. Ooh, circles. I carved this one. This is kind of cool. All right. I'm going to go back in with, I'll go with the AC flash and see if it shows up. So basically, I just put it a little bit out. And then I'm going to just make a little palette. So let me go in with um, these circles first. These are, these stamps are by um, Diane Reevely, her name is. She's a designer for, everyone knows who Diane Reevely is, for Ranger. And it, it's a four pack that I got a while ago. And I just leave it in my go to stamps for mark making, and I can see them. Also, by not using ink and by using paint, you get a little bit more texture. Like, these are a little bit more sticky-uppy. And if I... Oh, you know what? I'm going to use gold. I'm going to use some gold paint. Um, because I'm using paint, you can use a glossy paint, satin paint, all the different um, metallic paint, stuff like that. And it'll also add... Um, texture and glam. You know what I mean? Like add some glam. I'm going to go with gold. 
uh, what I really, really, you know what, let me do this brown. First, I'm going to dry a little bit. I use my embossing tool, my heat gun. Just dry it a little bit because now I'm going to go in with ink from an ink pad and it might just be too wet. some black marks on here okay okay I'm gonna go in with this is uh stays on it's called timber brown and I have not used this in forever so I hope it is oh, it just looks black it's not really looking brown but that's okay And all, most of this, I shouldn't say all, but most is going to get covered up. So don't, you know, don't worry about it. This isn't any big deal right now. Just put it on there. I'm going to put this, I don't know, I think this was probably on clearance at some point. But I like these um, type of stamps for the ones that don't have a wooden back for mixed media. They're just really easy because you don't have to put the whole stamp down on the surface. You can just use bits and pieces of it. This is, most of it is going to get covered up, so don't worry about it. It's background, and I just got it all over the front. Oh. I always have baby wipes near me, guys, because I am a messy crafter, for sure. And I'm wearing one of my favorite shirts, so I, you always should. I have actually... Um, an apron like a crafty apron or just a, an old shirt you could wear or something to put on but um, I gotta always keep in mind don't flick your paint around because it doesn't come out of your clothes unless you get it right away you can get it out acrylic paint is water based so all right I'm loving this I want to do a little bit of stenciling I think I don't need to, and I didn't put the music notes on yet. Huh. I think I'm just going to use music note paper. And, um, does it still look sandy? I think I need something else. I need some um, buttermilk, and I'm going to do swirls. swirls or I really like I think I'll do I really like this I carved one of these too so I have this one and I have this one that I carved I'm going to try this one it's a little tighter These are just layers and there's no rhyme or reason. It's just because it's fun and it gives interest and texture and color to your background in a cool way. Like it's, they're marks, they're not, it's not intentional necessarily. It's, I can't explain it, but just know that it's all part of a whole and it's not, this is not this, the focal thing. I want to do a little bit right here. Okay. So I like that. And then I think I'm going to go in with some white too. Some pure white. 
I think my white is actually um, a satin, multi-surface satin. And I think I'll do it as a stencil. But I have this. I kind of like this. Um, the, the hardest part for me is making decisions on what to use because um, that's really, that should be the hardest part. It's, it's too easy and you shouldn't get worked up over it. But I definitely want to put some white. Uh, maybe I should use a stencil. I'm going to use either I have a tiny little no I, I never do well with that one it doesn't cover I really like this one I think I might do this one ooh this one might be cool I think I'm going to do this one just because I have it it's like a bunch of triangles I think it's a Diane Reevely too and I have this cut and dry foam. I'm going to use a piece of that. And I've also, I use a lot of times, I just use a piece of um, makeup sponge from the Dollar Tree. But um, this isn't going to be like a perfect stencil. It's going to be background. And I'm moving the stencil around instead of um, getting the whole thing dirty. I'm just going to try and keep my paint in one section. like a blop. I'm the worst stenciler ever. It just must go right under. I need more paint I guess. Just a little bit more white and then I think I'm going to be done. I should stamp again. I don't know why. See, there's really no rhyme or reason. You can do what you want. It's disappointing that I get those blops. I call them blops. I don't like the blops. So I will take the blop off. And my gold is still popping through. I like it. All right, I'm pretty happy. Um, maybe uh, for the last little, I could wipe this too. For the last thing, I could put some music notes, go back in with that brown. going to start to figure out where I want to put my focal images and so I'll be right back. 
right I am excited I'm loving this so far so I'm gonna come in a little bit and hopefully I'm gonna sketch this out in pencil so it's a little bit different than I generally do because you know what I'll do on a piece of sketch paper first so that you can see the shape I'm just gonna make a sandcastle and I'm gonna make it in about four parts so you have a little front piece right with the door like the and you can make it any shape you want you don't have to make it like this but this is just how I'm gonna do mine then it's gonna have two little side so like starting at about halfway here you're gonna go to the side and make two little side towers and they can go a little bit behind the front piece and come out and then there's going to be your back piece and I'm just rounding everything because it's made of sand so you don't um, maybe a little bigger I don't know and make the window like that so that's the basic idea and then you can put those little things on top of here too um, and I mean you could do whatever you want you could put a little flag on top um, but it is a sandcastle so don't get too caught up in uh, the details and then behind that we're gonna have the skyline so that's gonna be straight because the horizon that's the horizon line so this will have a Sun and maybe a cloud and then there's gonna be ocean here so the ocean, it could be more of a hilly area, right? And it could even come down further. So um, this is going to be all sand. This is going to be, I'm looking for my eraser. So let's see. Yeah, I think I'm going to maybe bring the horizon line down a tiny bit more too. So the horizon line could be there and then and then you can make it like you know you're in the sand type thing um, so that's what I'm thinking and you could even put like a boat out here right like a little boat far off in the distance if you want and um, like a bucket with a little like a shovel in it this is just quickly sketching right um, maybe a seashell or a sand crab or something but I'm not trying to get too crazy I want to add micro beads to this too and um, so I think I'm gonna create and I'm gonna make the topic um, I'm not sure I thought it was gonna be just play because that's what the um, ATC this is the ATC that it inspired me um, but I think I want to go with something about see I see all these good words on here adventure beautiful attitude delightful grateful happiness so I'm seeing a lot more of like blessings and blessed destination dreamer there's so many other ways to go I'm not sure but maybe something will hit me while I'm working on this so I'm gonna go ahead and do my little sketch on here off camera and I'll be right back and I'll start painting all right do I want to all right I was just thinking should I move my camera but I'll zoom in I've got a nice little you know it's so funny I mean it just looks like so kiddish I mean I'm not a realistic artist let's face it I'm not I'm just you know but I'm I'm having fun and I enjoy it that's what's important I made a little Sun I just traced a bottle cap I put a cloud in the sky there's a little sailboat I don't know if you can see it I have my castle here a little bucket or pail with a shovel and I made a little crab because again it's inspired by this little piece and I just liked him being in the front um, those are stamps by um, lawn fawn 
so I just drew him on here. So I am going to add color using floats and so or washes. So um, I'm going to use this color is called navy blue, and I use palette paper, an angle brush, and I have my water bucket. My water is a little green at the moment, so we'll see if that interferes. I get my bristles wet and I blot on a paper towel and so I want this to be washy because I want all that background color to show through and this is going to be my sky so what I'm going to do first is create the horizon line and I know it's going to be hard for you guys to see it I'll zoom in hopefully I stay in the shot and I don't get my head in the way too much That's a sail. So I'm just going around it. Actually, I had so much um, paint on my brush. It's just super dark. So I'm getting a mop. And I'm going to try and get some of that off. I also have Q-tips usually handy so that I can take it off. Because I want this to be yellow, not blue. But um, this is how I paint. I am... A decorative painter for years and so it's just my style so I gotta go with it um, looking to see where that other sail is and it's right here so I'm kind of putting the bristles up against the sail and I'm gonna go across this horizon line and I did make the horizon line with a, a ruler so that it would be straight and I'm going to take it up. That's just where the um, the sails of that little sailboat are. I really want to make sure I have a lot of water in my bristles because it's going to um, create that washy effect. And you're going to be able, so I can totally, it's blue, but I see the gold shining through. Um, and that's what I want to see. So I'm going to go around everything and putting the darkest color up against my cloud. And then the way I load the brush, it peters out or it, um, how can I say it? It um, graduates in from dark to light to water. So I'm going to go uh, up against the bottom of the cloud. Am I in the shot? Yeah. And I'll show you how I load the brush real quick. Just because I've shared this in a lot of my videos, but a lot of you might be new to my channel. Um, but that looks so cool. So in other words, I'm having the blue sky show. It's turning the sky blue, but you're still seeing all those colors in the background. So that that's the idea. And Mixed media is so fun because of that because it can be what you want it to be. It doesn't have to be realistic, which you're never going to get from me because I don't I don't paint realistically. I don't know how. I never took a class on perspective or even um, color mixing. So I'm a bottle baby. I've always I, when I started painting, I started with these acrylic paints that are that you buy in the bottle and they have a name on them. So this one's called what? What did I say? Navy blue or something? This is called yeah, this is called navy blue. This one's called ocean reef blue. That's what I'm going to use for the um, ocean. So that's the thing. I mean, I'm I'm a I come to this mixed media only with a certain set set of skills and so I'm just kinda now I'll probably just go along the top and that'll be done my sky will be done but I want to do my waterline and I'm gonna do that with ocean reef blue just so that they're different colors and again now this is how I load my brush I just put a little bit of paint make sure you shake your paint um, I use an angle brush, and this one I probably got at AC Moore. It's old. It's an American painter, and it's a five inch, five eighth inch 
5 eighths and it's an angle brush and I like an angle brush just because it has that point but you can do this with a flat brush meaning just it's cu just cut straight across you get water in your brush and then you blot and I've got shop towels here they're just a little bit more absorbent I corner load it into the color only getting the darkest color on that point then I push I'm gonna go slow and I'll zoom in I push the bristles down and keep going back and forth and see the water it's puddling this has a lot of water now if I were doing a, a true decorative painting piece that might be a little too wet you can see that but it goes from paint to water and paint to water so you get that graduation of color and then this is a mop brush this is a dirty mop brush but when you mop you're actually mopping from the water's edge and you're pulling down on the water to smooth the float now that the it's called a float and all I all that means is I'm floating the paint across the bristles on the water and that way you get a graduation of color so let's see if this is a good enough um, change in color I'm not sure I'm gonna go across the top of the water okay, am I in the shot oh see I'm so zoomed in sorry about that hold on hold on one minute so I'm gonna just I like it I like it and I'm gonna just be really rough with this I want to stop at my little boat here there's a boat I know it's hard to see and just kind of let that it's just kind of staining the color of uh, the, the piece actually or kind of you know what I mean like I'm not actually painting it's such a thin coat it's mostly water tinted with paint you know so again here's my um, the edge of that uh, sail on the sailboat and I'm sticking the corner and pulling it along the top because I want the darkest color to be at the horizon line and let it peter out below so I think that's good I think that's a good enough change I'm gonna come up again so that you can see I think that'll be good and I'm gonna go along the bottom horizon line well I guess it wouldn't be the horizon anymore now I'm just up against the beach the sand and the ocean are budding and here's part of my sand castle and um, I like to use this brush because the surface on a, a mixed media piece is generally a lot less smooth than it would be if I were doing a decorative painting piece in decorative painting I love my piece to be smooth like real smooth and your floats will be so based on the surface you get an, either a jaggly float or a eh, anyway don't worry about that just know that this doesn't have to be perfect and you can get this graduation of color with um, Faber-Castell big brushes they're um, India ink um, markers and you can just go around and smudge it out actually before you do that you need to um, put a coat of matte medium on your piece coat and I could have done that with this as well but I'm kind of erasing some things as I go like I just sketched this with pencil um, so I need to be able to erase and if I would have covered it with matte medium I wouldn't have been able to get that off of here so um, but you can do this all a lot of different ways and I am just doing it the way that I love to do it because I'm a decorative painter and floating is fun for me and that's the whole point of of doing it an art journal is to have fun and if it's not fun don't do it please um, use what you have always and 
use your style make it your style because it's your piece it's not my piece yes I'm kind of maybe I'm, I'm inspiring you or you're playing along with me and you're gonna create your own but it'll never be like mine um, that was a hard lesson to learn in decorative painting because um, in decorative painting you are actually doing the piece along with a teacher who created it and you kind of want it to look and you trace the design just like um, as if they did it it's their arm line work is what I'm saying so anywho it's a different situation I'm just gonna take this piece of old paint I'm gonna do my Sun and I want it to be actually I'm gonna just switch brushes and I'm gonna use like just a a small flat brush kind of like let's see these are both the same size both these are both eights eight flats um, but yeah I'm just gonna get a lot of water in my brush and I didn't even I just I didn't even blot and I really want this to be a wash so I just created a wash this is just like really really watery paint and then a true wash I would rinse my brush and then blot it and then just go in and pick up that puddle and paint my son my son because I still want to oh, and I went right out of the lines but I still want to uh, see the background that we did through well, I'm, get, I'm a mess through the paint so I don't want it to be opaque and what that also does and you can even take a paper towel and blot it and you'll pull some off too but it definitely looks yellow well you can't it doesn't look as yellow as it does to me I'm gonna highlight and shade that as well and then I'm gonna do the same thing for my cloud I mean even though it definitely looks white you know what I'm gonna do it with um, my white pearl because um, I love to add metallic and pearl paints to my pieces that's just me it's my preference because I love this is just mother of pearl by Martha Stewart and I'm going to um, again I don't want it to be opaque so I'm going to use a lot of water in my brush and just water it down and paint this cloud And it'll just have a little shimmer. This um, brush I'm using, it's a bit beat up, so I'm sure I've used it more for mixed media, and that's okay. But if you are actually into decorative painting, you want to take good care of your brushes. You want the bristles to stay together and not um, splay apart. And so take care of them, but for I usually I have been doing a lot more mixed media than I have decorative painting so I don't have that many good brushes anymore so that's just going to be a subtle bit and I will do some yellow on that too I'm going to decide what color I'm going to do my um, sails in a minute but for right now I want to get into this uh, sand and I think I am just going to use this honey brown as my shading color it was I used it in the background um, so let's try it and see if it's too dark or going to be just right and really what I want to do is just go around everything and then when I'm on the castle I'm going to create the shades the shading areas the shaded areas see I don't really like this this isn't this is kind of Yeah, I'll try it. I mean, I definitely I put it on here, so it, it it looks. I didn't I didn't dislike it initially, so I think I'll stick with it. All right. So here's what I want to do. Um, I guess I'll go around the castle, and that way you'll start to see it. And. It will start to show up. I 
And I mean, I drew it on there. It's not perfect. And but would a sandcastle really be? Although, if you've seen those people who do sand, the real deal sandcastles on the beach, it's crazy how perfect they get them. So I mean, mine would never be perfect, but somebody's would. Some of those sculptors that come. So see, now he's starting to pop through. I'm not sure if I love that color. I love, my favorite brown is um, Burnt Sienna. And I think I will shade the, like, the castle with Burnt Sienna. So I'll do that and it'll, we'll see the difference. So I'm going in the nooks and crannies. So here he is, that's the castle. Um, I gotta finish up here because that's making my eye. So there's a little bucket here. I'm gonna go around this bucket. Hopefully my head is not in the shot. You can't see it though. I just drew it, it's not perfect again. Um, but I thought it needed something else, so it's just a bucket and shovel. And by shading behind it, all of a sudden it's attached to the piece, like it's not just floating on the paper. Um, my little crab is so funny looking. He really is. He's, I just kind of copied him from the... He's a fat little guy. I just copied him from the stamp that I used on the ATC that I did. So I'm just going to shade around them. I think I'm going to make his eyeballs like stick out. Like stick out of his head. But he's got two pinchers and a couple of little legs here. And I'll paint them red and we'll be able to see them. I think I will go along the bottom. This color would tend to be my shading color. So only the darkest parts of the page would be this color. And then keep the highlights to the tops of the sand where the sun is hitting. So maybe up this on here I'll do some highlighting. We'll see. I think I am going to switch to Burnt Sienna, but I shouldn't. I'm going to shade the whole castle first. You know what I really want to do though is up here. I don't like, this is really drawing my eye so I have to go around. I have to finish that because it made me, and then I'll have to finish my sailboat too. I guess I'm going to go under that, but that makes me feel better. Um, I have an eraser somewhere. My, my, um, pencil is just weird there. Because I kind of did just do it sketchy. It's not perfect. Well, I keep saying that. It'll never be perfect because I am far from perfect. Um, so I'm going to take that same brown, honey brown, and just start to shade under. and to the side of each part of the castle and it'll start to give it some depth as well.
I don't, there's no line there now because I, it, it would be the actual pencil, but that's okay, let's see, um, I'll do it, I'll make a pencil line, stuff just bothers me sometimes. I haven't actually reloaded my brush with um, more water because it. that's why I love these big angle brushes because they hold a lot of water. Um, and you really do need a nice wet brush. Not drippy, but wet because um, that's what helps the paint slide. And I can tell when I need more water and I will reload my brush. I'll go into my water bucket and start over. But for right now, I just keep reloading right from this runway that I already have down here because it has water in it. So now you're starting to see the castle, right? I guess we can see everything a bit better. I think I'm going to do the doors and the windows. So along the inside, and I have to shade these little things too, but where would the shade go? I think it's got to go along the outside edges. I don't know, maybe that's enough. Oh, I was going to do a circle window here. Ugh, what a mess. I hit a bump and it, my pencil went whoop. See how much paint I had on that? I don't like that. My paint wasn't, my brush wasn't loaded right. I had, see look, you can actually see that. I never blended it. I just went into the puddle and I never blended it. So I got a blop, but I just picked it up with a um, paper towel. And this window circles you could just do half of it and then do the other half in a minute and I think I'll do like hmm under these little notches I'm not sure I don't know just to give it something I don't know and I need to highlight it though somehow I'm going to outline everything. All right, let's do, I want to do the bucket with blue. Actually, yeah, I'll use one of these blues. Let's use, I'm going to use the dark blue. It's so gorge. And I'm going to go along this rim. And down both sides. I think the kids are starting to come home from school and Kirby sees them. She has to tell them whatever uh, she says. I don't know. Let's get some red. And this is a gloss enamel. It's actually for painting like, um, I think it's for painting on glass and stuff, but I got it for dotting and I really like it. And it's an acrylic paint. It says multi-surface, so I'm going to use it. 
I just got a little teensy piece of that out. Piece, no, a dot. And I'm gonna very gently side load and get, oh, I still had plenty of blue in my brush. So I gotta rinse it off first. And you know what I'm gonna have to do is the sails are gonna have to be red to pull the red, although they're on both on the same side. Maybe I should have put the sailboat over here. It's fine. Too late now. And see, I'm not, I don't even care if it's filled in all the way. I just want the color. Like, you know it's a red crab. You know he's red. It doesn't matter that it's opaque because I, I, I want the background to show through. And I'm going to, um, what am I going to do? I'm going to outline it with pen. So, it'll be great. It's going to be so great. And I'm going to give him little bulgy eyes. Like, I'm going to make his eyes go up like he's, all right. So what else? How about I do a red? I could do a yellow. I'm going to do a yellow um, shovel. I'm just going to use the colors that I have out and it'll pull everything together. Um, let me do my sails while I'm at it here real quick. And I'm just holding this so I can see it better. It's hard to see because there's a lot of lines going here. But I think, so it's basically, it's a wash, but I'm just keeping the color strongest on the inside of the sail. So the bottom and the inside. Let's see if I'm even, yes, sorry. Sometimes I get so into this, it's like, this is such meditation for me. That's why it's called My Serenity Crafts, my craft channel, because it's so peaceful. I am so happy when I do this. Um, and then the boat, I have to figure that out. But let me finish my little bucket. And I could make stripes. Like, you can go crazy adding details and... You know, make it your own, guys. That's why. And you guys have, I have to say, been posting a ton of your work on my um, Facebook challenge chat page. Because I love to see what you've made. I can't even think of the names of you guys. But I look at them and they are incredible. Well, I answer you. I, I say that I've seen it. Now, should I shade this with gold? I want to use, I have neon yellow. And I'm going to highlight it with neon yellow. And I'm going to paint this. I'm just going to use a little um, number three round um, to do the, uh, the little shovel. Um, gonna use this the lighter blue color that I used for the ocean, and I'm just gonna paint this rim of the. Oh, see that's opaque, and I don't want it to be opaque. Uh, I need some sand inside the bucket as well, so. can't really see it but I will I'm gonna put oh, I'm gonna put uh, um, micro beads on here I forgot and I just got really excited I'm gonna highlight the Sun with some yellow some neon yellow so let's put that over here and 
and I'm going to shade it, but let me let that dry. I have to figure out my my boat. Um, I don't really see the lines for my boat, um, so I'm probably just going to, let's see, what color should I paint the bottom of the boat? I guess yellow. It could be white. No, I'm going to do yellow. I don't know. And then I'll... I'll outline it, but that looks good. Um, and it could have a little flag but we don't need to get crazy so it's starting to come together let me zoom back up and I mean this white right here it's a little white um, I think I'm just gonna just take the blue and just kinda tone it down a little And then on the ocean, I have to do under the boat to get it to sit. But the boat actually would be, hmm, you know what? It's going to be white. I'm going to get my regular, um, where's my white? I thought I had it out here already. It's so weird how things are right in front of me on my desk and I can't see them. Up, oh, it's right in front of me. I think I'm going to highlight with the white. Kind of like. I think it's too sheer. I think it needs to be a little like a thicker. Like it's a wave. Ah, I'm putting a little thicker paint. And I'll put a few. I don't know what they are. They're maybe they're waves. I don't know. Do they look like waves? Not really. And maybe it should actually be whiter here because if the water's coming in. No, that's a big hill. Whatever. Really, I just wanted it to be that part. And then I should, I'm going to use Burnt Sienna to shade the um, sun and to shade the boat and to shade the, the little. Shovel. Sorry, I can't think of what I'm trying to say. Just really soft and over the side. that it needed all that. It's just a little boat and I'm getting a little too serious with all my oops, my shading and whatever. Just got to make it show up. Like I can now take this burnt sienna which I love. It's like a reddish brown and just go into the darker areas and really make them so like everything that makes it behind and
Isn't that color so gorge? I love it. Um, how about, what should I, I'm going to use this um, buttermilk. I know I'm starting to take long. 36 minutes, eh, that's average, right? This buttermilk, and I'm just going to do some highlighting now, too, um, in certain areas, because I think they've kind of faded out. So definitely right here. And maybe even like, I don't know, maybe, no, he's good. How about on top of, right, and someplace else, like maybe under the windows. Um, like along this line here. Uh, at least down one side of this. Maybe one side of the window. So did that make it pop a little more? I think it did. And then along the top edge of the sand. And I might have to be done. Because I think I could just go on and on and on. And then just hit it here and there. I think I want to be done. And I'm going to do some, oh, I don't know, did I finish this? Yes, I did. I got to do my little um, crab. I'm going to get a liner brush, and I'm going to do some red, because I want them to have little eyeballs, but they're going to like be those little ones that stick out like this. So I'll put a little dip dot on there in a second. All right, because you can't you can't put dip dots until you're done. But that's looking cute. I'm excited. Now I'm gonna outline. I'm gonna use. I'm going to use my go-to is the Uniball Vision, and I think I'm gonna use that. I also have the Uniball. Signo. This was recommended by Tracy Moreau, and um, it's much, 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 much finer line. Um, but I like this one, and I think for this piece, it needs to be nice and dark. So I'm going to start at the top and work my way down just because um, I don't want it to smudge. And I'm just going to be gentle. I'm not going to push very hard. And I'm going to turn the piece. This will come off. I have a few seconds before it is permanent. This is a permanent and um, waterproof ink. Waterproof and permanent. So um, you do have... I need a mast. I didn't have a mast. But would you really be able to see that? I think not. I'll go off camera so it doesn't take all that time. I might put a flag there and outline everything and then I'll be back and I'm going to add some texture. All right, I'll be right back. I think I'm just going to, the dogs are getting crazy. I'm going to shade. I just wanted to take some burnt sienna and go, I went under the doors and windows. But I think I need to put it right here. And you have to be careful because, like I said, that um, pen will bleed. Until it's permanent, it can come off. So, But I'm just being gentle. I don't want to smear it, the black. But I just think it needed a little bit more depth. I'm probably going to go up the sides. Be careful. 
careful. Um, then, you know, I have the, it's called Distress Stickles. I have Distress Stickles, and I have Micro Beads, so I'm not sure. I love Micro Beads, sorry. When I'm doing something I can't really talk, I get too involved. It's so meditative. I want to go here, too. That makes it pop more. That kind of brought the castle. All right, I'm pretty happy with it. I think my water kind of, now it looks good. All right, I'm very, very happy. And I'm gonna get my stickles. My stickles was one of my very favorite go-to things when I first started paper crafting. And I put stickles on a lot of stuff, but one of my favorites is this. It's called the Stress Stickles. And it's not just a glitter. This is made with mica, I'm pretty sure, like mica flakes. And, huh, it doesn't say that. And I think it's pretty empty. Hold on. Hey, stop, Jimmy. Oh. All right, I got to get them. All right, sorry about that. I just can't focus. Um, they're just playing, but... All right, so I'm going to use stickles, and these are what I mean by um, micro beads. They are... This is. These are both recollections. I got these at Michael's, and I don't know if they still have them there. I started collecting most of my... Um, crafting stuff like my paper crafting stuff about five years ago so I mean it could be that they don't have them anymore but I mean they may I am going to use now these are the colors so I'm probably maybe I'll use some of these these are the metallics but there's like a nice bronze and gold um, and the clear this is like a clear one. Oh, this would look cool in the water let's see if this is clear clear. She stole a piece of paper. Herbie, you're such a brat. Sorry. <laughs> and I use, um, this is called glossy accents to put that on, but I want to do it the very last thing I do. The first thing I wanted to do was this. Okay, the distress stickle. So I'm going to shake it up, hopefully shake it down because I don't know that there's that much left. And I'm going to put it out on my thingy majiggy, my craft mat, and try to find um, an old kind of grungy brush. I have a lot of grungy brushes that I can put this on, or maybe not such a grungy brush because they, they get so grungy that I can't even use them anymore. Um, Sorry guys, I should have found this ahead of time, but it is what it is. So these this one is definitely okay. So I'm just gonna take it and I'm gonna put it on the sand castle. Now I did all that shading and highlighting, so you don't wanna I don't want to cover it up or change the color for sure, but see, look, this is like granulated. And this is why it's called mixed media, because this is basically a glitter glue that I am adding to my piece. And it's going to give it texture and dimension. And actually, it's just super Fun. And this is kind of old, so maybe it'll be a little gloppy, but it kind of will just put a sheen and some sparkle. Oh man, I, I get too excited. Oh, I'm so glad I did this today because, I mean, it was a beautiful day. 
It was. I went and sat on the porch when I ate my lunch and in between. And I was like, man, it makes me feel guilty almost when I'm not out there <laughs> enjoying the beautiful weather. But creating is fun too. And I have missed it. I have. OMG. I guess I should put it in the doors too, right? I should put it everywhere. Because it's sand. And see, I want to put the micro beads too. But I think I'm just going to put this. Maybe I should even use my finger and just rub it on. So yeah, this is called Distress Stickles as compared to, well, like I'll use this as compared to the regular stickles. This is says, oh, it's called Vintage Photo. That's the color. And this is the Designer Series by Tim Holtz. Ranger is his company, so Ranger makes the stickles in general. But this was a special batch. I don't know. I think I have a couple of colors of it, but I've only really used this brown when I'm doing sand. So not only did we do the metallic gold in the background and that I can definitely see it popping through, I now have added some mica flakes in a way with some glue. Oh man, that makes me so happy you guys. See I can definitely, you can see the gold really really well in the blue pop in I love it okay so that's that and then I think I want to because I have um, those white these are clear I think I want to put these on the ocean I'm gonna make that because I think they'll be really dimensional I think I'll just use the stickles oh you know what I forgot where I forgot to put this was you know what I'll put um, micro beads in the bucket. Sorry, I get too excited. Um, did I smudge my little? Seems like I smudged them. Gonna put a little bit of glitter. See, I haven't used this in so long, but you just take a pin. I have a little pin cushion on my desk that I always have a pin. It's glue, so it'll get um, clogged. And just put a little of that on here. And I'm just going to use my finger. And I just did one side of it. I don't know why. Um, I think I'll use clear stickles for the cloud. Even though I put... See, I have enamel accents. This is by... Ink Essentials. I think Ranger makes this too. Yeah, Ranger. But this is like dimensional paint. Um, liquid Pearls. But I definitely have, this is clear. This is called Stardust. And I think I'll just put it at the top. Have to put a hole. You can really tell I haven't been crafting because I use stickles a lot. Oops. I think I might just leave it like that. Eh, it's better when you spread it around a little. I could have shaded the cloud too. I forgot. Because, you know, whatever. Alright, so I just did it on the top part because I already painted it with uh, metallic white or um, it's called pearlescent. So for the rest of it, I mean I have red but I don't need it. I want to put some, um, yeah that's it for stickles. Now I'm going to do this clear in the water and I'm going to do some brown or like maybe just gold. I used some on here. Look, I used a couple colors. Oh, look, there's blue. Oh, I could use blue. Blue in the sky. I used gold and bronze on the sand. So this is actually copper, champagne, 
and antique copper. Oh gosh, oh gosh. All right, this is too exciting. I get so excited. I'm going to do, and then I won't, you won't touch this for a while. What words did I want to put on here? Do I want to put words? I do. I think I just want it to say, maybe beyond beautiful. I like that. Or beyond grateful. I like that. Um, I'll be right back. Okay, so I picked Beyond Grateful. I'm choosing that because, and I'm just going to use, the, it is sticky back, but um, I'm going to use glue because, I don't know, I just want to. And a really great way to make sure um, everything's centered when you're putting down stickers and things on your piece is to use these really cool scissors. I mean, I'm sorry, tweezers. These are Cutter Bee tweezers, I think. Tweezer Bay, they're called. And I'm just kind of centering it here. And I'm going to put Grateful a little bit below it. Um, off a little. See, look, like it has stuff stuck to it. Whatever stuff is on my desk that I don't even know is there. I'm using, this is a white glue. This is Scotch Quick Dry Adhesive. And I'm just going to put it a little bit, like, kind of right on the horizon line, I guess. I don't know. I never put a line there either. But I'm going to do, you know what I want to do, though? I'm going to go over it with paint a little bit, just so it's not white, white. I'm just going to go over it with the sky blue color that I used, which is, whoops, navy, I think. I just got red on my brush. I'm just going to go oh, way too dark along the bottom. And I'm just going to, oh, it's way too dark. Oh, no. I really didn't want it to be that dark. I messed it up. Oh, dang it. Can't use that now. You know why? because I painted it on um, regular paper like um, the paper wasn't sealed or anything so the paint just sucked right into the paper so that's my mistake but I'm glad I shared it um, anywho I'll put on I'm gonna put words on here and I'll figure that out um, probably just gonna use that the big chat like I did and I'll find but this is about summer this is our August art journal page and this August, I went to the beach more than I've been to the beach in five years, probably, combined. So here's, I never put the, the horizon, I almost said Verizon. I never put the horizon line. So there you go. Um, but let's, so I'm going to take glossy accents, and I'm going to use some of this clear and what I'm going to do is take, I have just a regular piece of computer paper because these will bounce all over the place. I'm going to like fold it in a couple places. Try and create a little, I don't know what I'm doing. Or I could actually do it on um, like a towel. That might be a good idea too. Because just somewhere where the, um, the little beads will fall. This is such a grungy towel, guys. Uh, I have a better here. I have a better towel, sorry. Because um, they will bounce all over. So I'm just going to lay this towel down. And then I'm going to put some of these clear or silver. No, I'm going to use clear. All right, and I'm just going to put it right. Kind of put a little bead. Um, glossy accents along these lines, kind of like the waves. And I'm just going to, let me just use that paper too. Hopefully it won't stick to my, um, probably should have done this first instead of the, um, 
glitter because the glitter glue because it's glue obviously um, it could stick to the stickles but I think the stickles was probably pretty dry I'll actually I should have just hit it with my heat gun and I'm putting that on pretty thick because I want it to really get into the um, glue Wow, that is thick. Oh, can you see that? Oh, wow. I'm just going to take, well, since I have whatever, whatever I have on my desk, I just want to shape it a little more. OMG. That is so cool. Okay, so I got to put this back. Why is there black stuff? Whatever. Um... Be careful with this. Do I want to put it anywhere else? No. That's my ocean waves. But here's the thing. If I spill that, it's it's not going to be good. So I'm really going to be gentle. And they make fancy things to do this, like glitter or no, they're um, beading devices and stuff. But I think I'm good. Oh, I almost dropped it. Don't do it. Put that lid on. All right, good. Now, I want to use some. I decided I'm going to put glossy accents all over my crab. Let me give them a smile. This isn't even the right pen. That's cute. Um, all right. Anywho, uh, let's put some of these. I want to use this color, the antique copper. I'm going to put the in the windows. Like, I just want to put a little bit in the windows, like kind of here. I don't know, like it's piled there or something. I don't know. And some here at the door. Look, and that makes a bubble sometimes, but that's okay. Aren't these gorgeous? I don't know if it's coming across, but man, these little micro beads have got some really shiny. Uh oh. A few definitely did stick to the stickles. I never did hit it with the um, the heat gun, but I am going to fix that. Don't worry. I got to put these back. And put that lid on because... All right, and then, you know what I'm going to use is a brush. So just a brush, and I'm going to brush away where I don't want them to stick. So on the stickles, in other words. I just, I want it to stick only. I mean, it's not, it's not killing me if it's stuck to the other parts, but that wasn't my intention. So, oh, I'm excited. I get so excited. I want to put some in this but I think I'm going to use, this looks kind of orange, the copper. I think I'm going to use gold. And I'm going to put the gold in this here. And I'm going to put it like kind of just in a few places, maybe around him. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So what do I want to do? It's the paper. And then the glue. I'm going to put it in here and a little bit like around him and a little bit maybe on here and I don't know you guys like maybe oh boy 
just kind of coming down the side a little and right here all right I'm just getting really creative with it now I never dried my stickles yet Ugh. sorry it's whatever okay so I want it in here Oh boy, this is so amazing. I am so enjoying this. I don't know why. It makes me happy. And you should see those ocean ones. They, the white, the clear, it looks so fluffy. I have to put some in the sky because if I don't the sky will be lonely OMG there's not I gotta put some blue in the sky this is amazing it's just a bigger version of some of the um, gold ones got caught in the brown ones here that's okay. It's a little two-tone. What do you think? And you can kind of move them. The glue will move. I didn't really get it right here. I could just see glue there with no beads on it. I think I'm gonna put some up in the sky this is like a little um, ceramics tool that I've had forever and I just pull it out whenever I think I might need it I don't know why I put it in those random places but it is what it is kids all right so here's my gold Oopsie. Oh boy. And lid. The last thing I'm going to do is some blue because why not? And I have these gorgeous, I think I have two colors of blue. I do. So I have a capri, which that could be good for the ocean. And this one, which I've used a ton. This is called ocean. But I think I'm going to put it in the sky. I think I'm just going to put it a few places in the sky. Um, excuse me, I burped. I'm just kind of making little random swizzles of glue. And I'm going to put it there. That's what I'm going to do. Because you kind of have to, you know, mix it up. I mean, I have to have it all over the place. And I say have to because I have to. It's hard to see where I put the glue, but I think, I think I got it. Come on. That is so cool. It's just stuck to my stickles a little bit. Am I really, oh, my stickles is dry. I should, I should have, take it from me. You should definitely dry your stickles first or put your stickles on last, even better. <gasps> Isn't that cool? I'm done. I'm done. All right, I'll be right back. All right, it's all done, and I'm super happy, guys. Thank you for watching. Um, I enjoyed my August. I hope you guys did, too. I still have September. I, I know what I want to do for that. 
But look how those microbeads look. And when you're applying the glue, the glossy accents, just do it in this kind of fashion and the beads fall like that. And it just gives you those lines in the sky type thing, in the ocean. Look, can you see? Oh wait. Anywho, they're really sticking up and giving it a lot of dimension. I could have shaded even darker in some places, but I love it. And I just love that I got to play with all my fun stuff that I haven't used in so long. And I just wrote August down here, but I didn't put the words. I, you know, I already covered up all that area where I would have put the words. So do you make it yours and hopefully this was inspiration and I'll be back for oh you know what one more thing I'm going to and I hope you know what I'm gonna put it on here and I'm gonna I hope I don't smear the black that's my only that's the risk I'm about to take but I'm gonna take this glossy accents and just put it on our little crab because the crabs shell is shiny so I'm going to shine them up a little. That was the one thing I wanted to do. I'm really trying to stay away from the, um, the black ink and just make him shiny. So cute. So you see that? All right, wait, I'll show you. Oh dear. And you can use your stickers, you can use whatever you have, guys. It doesn't have to be like mine at all. Mine's like a kindergartner did it. What can I tell you? I loved it, I had fun, I'm excited, and I'm ready for our September page. So hopefully I'll get back and do that super quick because then I have to do October already. It's already October 3rd. All right, you guys, thanks for watching.